On January 10th, 1997, it was early in the morning when my mom had her labor pain. She was rushed to the Manipal hospital and over there, as I was born, my cry, surprisingly, did not bring a smile on anyone's face. It rather made them very emotional and sad for the birth of me. Now the reason is not because I was a girl child, but because the doctors told that I had a hole in my heart. And if there was no surgery done, then there is no way that I can survive. My dad thought the baby was just half their hand in the half of their hand in their hand. It had a little heart that must be of the little finger size. In that, there is a hole and that hole needed a surgery. He thought, forget it. It's a hole, it'll close on its own. So let's just go back home. <laughs> After this, I was a very curious child, always asking them questions about every single thing that's happening, especially when it came to my periods. Just to ask them, why can't I go to temple when I'm on periods? Why should I sit separate and not anywhere else? And then they have ultimately decided that the hole was not in my heart. It was rather in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, if you ask me how was my childhood, I was always the kid in my mama's house. My mama is in uh, Hindupur again, Andhra Pradesh, like Lavanya said. And it used to be a lot of fun, okay? We were like almost 13 cousins coming together every single vacation. So I'll narrate one such vacation. It was around Christmas and New Year at that time. And we were all in our mama's house. Those times there were no geezers. So what used to happen? They used to keep binkies, which are nothing but plastic pots. Inside that water was stored and they used to heat it with a heater. So like that, a series of pots were arranged outside the bathroom and all of us cousins, we were very young, no? so everybody used to go together. Only. So we were all standing in one big queue, waiting for my mommy to come out. There was this one cousin, his name is Chintu, and uh, his legs started paining really bad. So what he did, he decided to sit on one of those binkies. As he sat, the binky compressed because of the pressure and once the fumes started hitting his bum, he got up and as he got up, there was a splash of water on all our legs. And guess who was the only person getting bummed? <laughs> you know why? Because my fault was I was having a thin towel while the rest of them were having fat towel holes. And that's why I got burnt my entire leg. So the entire house was of course in chaos. They were all running around to give us immediate first aid. And my mom, on the other hand, I still remember, was scolding and hitting me because I was not keeping my leg straight for her to apply salt on me. I think she took Jalepe Namak too seriously because I don't know what was on her mind at that time. And the outcome of it, I'm fine, don't worry. It's just that I have a permanent tattoo carved on my right leg, almost 15 centimeters long. And that's the story. Talking about the rest of my family, I want to ask you guys, how many of you have cousins? Sorry, not cousins, elder siblings. Elder siblings. Hmm. You must not need a servant in your house, right? <laughs> Why are you born for? Your existence is to serve the house. And me being, I think I need not need any enemies in my life. I literally have one Shani sitting on my head all the time because that's my brothers and I have two of them, not even one. <laughs> so it makes things even great for me. And worst thing, my dad decided to name me Akshita. Okay? The name actually starts from my brother's name, Akshay. And he thinks my entire existence is only and only because of his bone of giving me that name. <laughs> and now, 
He thinks I don't even deserve to sit near his leg because his leg is fatter than my face. <laughs> so that's how I'm being treated. So looks like the hole wasn't. It would have been good if it was in my heart rather than having it on my self-respect as of now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, give me a woohoo if you have had the best college time in your life. Thank you. <laughs> Some of them haven't. No worries. Now, in my case, what happened was, I think God actually forgot that I was supposed to go to college. <laughs> I had, and He decided to send me for seven years, seven long years after finishing Urban though in Christ. For those of you who don't know, Christ is a jail. It's literally worse than a school that you can ever be in. And the only good thing about Christ, there's some good, don't worry. So the only good thing about Christ was that it had a bunch of eye candies who you could stare at so that your rest of the life becomes peaceful. <laughs> Ask me how do you identify so many eye candies in a crowd that's 6,000 people. Ask me how. Oh. Well, you could easily identify them because the rest of them were anyway chetas with curly hair and white <laughs> 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 Oh So this is pretty much how my entire college life and everything's been. But all in all, I'm being very happy in a Maru family. Of course, who wouldn't be happy? You have loads of cash loaded in your house. <laughs> you can always eat a pan in your mouth. And of course, the best part, kakras for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and every time you wake up at the night. <laughs> now you all must be wondering, she is almost 24, Marwadi family, working right now. How is this even possible? Because our only aim is to get our girls married, right? <laughs> By, uh, and we need just educated ones, not working class ones. So the reason is, child marriages are still banned in India. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not going to be possible. <laughs> Thinking about my future, with whole of COVID breakdown, I think it's just going to be as gloomy as it is right now outside. And now, when I look back, I feel I'm very, very angry on China and very agitated as well. If I were the Prime Minister, you know what I would do? I would actually organize a big fat party, no lockdown, gather the entire world in it and just let COVID go. Whoever stays, stays and whoever dies can die. That's about it. And now, looks like Hitler is really waiting outside my door to enter my personality and the hole is not in my heart, not in my head, it's actually in my soul. Oh. <laughs>